everyone, so I have here tonight a collective haul video and it is almost about 11 at night and I really wanted to film this because I got the stuff throughout the week and I kept meaning to film this so I did it after I got out of the shower so that's why I have no makeup on and my hair is up. So this is just a collective haul. Um, I went to Charlotte Russe in the beginning of this week looking for some stuff and then yesterday, which I don't know when this is going to be up, but yesterday, um, as in Friday, I went to Old Navy and Ulta and bought some stuff. So let's just hop right on into the video. I'm going to start off with Charlotte Russe because that's... I bought two things. I needed some work clothes and I also saw these really pretty printed leggings. Just look at these. I wanted a pair like this forever. I couldn't find one that I liked. I tried these on and they looked amazing. They were originally... They were on sale for $10, I believe, and that's a really good deal because they were originally $12.99. This is in an extra large because they do run tight, but I love it. I could wear this to work. It's long enough, and I just love it, so that's one down. And then I wanted some maxi skirts. Well, one maxi skirt. They were on sale for $15, and I thought that was a really good deal. And I figured they had a bunch of different colors, but I thought to go with just a plain black one. It's really long. Um, I'm probably going to get it ahead though because this was a this was a medium and the small was just really tight around my waist but the length was perfect. So I decided to get the medium and I can always just hem it. And yeah, this was $15 and I just love it and it's very simple because everyone at where I work at Justice, everyone wears skirts and I thought that this would be perfect. Now we're going to move on to Old Navy which I bought one thing and again it's work shorts. I needed shorts that are about fingertip, fingertip length, and I can never find any that I like, so we went into Old Navy yesterday, and I got these. They're very big. They look really big and baggy, but they're going to, like, shrink in the wash, so that's why I got them. And they're just this light color, light wash, and they have some little, little holes, and I thought I could pair this with anything, and I just love them. And again, they are perfect for work, and it's the Old Navy Sweetheart uh, shorts. They had a bunch of them. And I believe these were on sale too, but my mom has the receipt, so sorry guys. And the last and final store that I went to was Ulta. So the first thing that I went there looking for was the LPI Coca-Cola polishes. And I was very disappointed because they didn't have them. So then I saw this baby and I was like, I gotta get it. I gotta be a typical YouTuber and get one. And this is the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner. Oh my god, it just came out, um, I think the beginning of the month or something. And I'm so excited to try this because I have trouble with my doing liquid liner. But this is supposed to be like a gel form. It says 91% said it is long wearing. 81% said it was waterproof, 86% said it hugged the lash line, and 84% said eyes looked visible longer. And I have the mini version of the their Better Fit Their Real Mascara, and I saw a bunch of YouTubers already had this. Oh, the packaging is super cute. You can't even see it, but it's like a little crisscross over here. And I apologize if you hear fireworks going on. It's not even the 4th of July, like it passed and they're still doing fireworks and it's pissing me off. So I'm sorry to hear that. Um, so yeah, ooh, this looks really cool. There's an orange thing, so when you open, you can open it, I guess, and then you could start. Oh, that's really cool. I'm so excited to try this. So I will let you guys know how I like this. Yeah. So then, um, the people said there when I went there that it will be a lot of people say it's really hard to get off so I went next door to Bed Bath & Beyond which I didn't finish my Ulta thing but I'll show you what I, what else I got at Ulta yeah I also got the Ulta Salon Formula Nail Lacquer and this is a marble one and it is so pretty and I was just like I gotta get it it's in the color pink marble, obviously. I was super excited to try this, and I'll let you guys know if the formula is any good. I mean, I've had the Ulta nail polishes before, but I don't think, I think I have, like, one of this bottle because I had, like, the very old bottle. I'm excited to try that. I just realized that the other two things are from that Bath & Beyond, so I got the makeup remover that they said I should get. This is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover, 
and this uh, removes uh, even waterproof mascara. So I got that from the eyeliner because they said it's very hard to do with like a regular makeup wipe. And then I wanted something to wake me up in the morning and I think I've heard Miss Molly Ann 14 talk about this. Shout out to you girl, you love ya. And this is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Scrub Oil Free. Now, I absolutely, I tried this yesterday, this morning, I tried this this morning, sorry, I'm all over the place, and I love it. It has like little, I don't know if it's called sand, or it's like exfoliated, it's like little uh, marbles that you could feel on your skin, I forgot what, it, I don't know what it's called, probably the scrub part, duh, but it feels so refreshing after I wash this off my face, and I love it already, so I'm very excited to keep using this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, it's kind of short, but, you know, don't have a lot of money. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you bought anything recently. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on my social media sites. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Love you.